Here we are with Summertime Rendering Episode 9, and yeah, last episode we saw quite a bit of change, right, from the previous days we experienced before we died every time, with Ushio showing up in the house, um, Mio going, the fake Mio going over to the attack and going into the house and trying to kill Shinpei, and yeah, we are not sure about Mio, uh, Ushio having memory loss, or if the real Ushio did stuff before after she got copied, that the fake Mio obviously doesn't know about. So yeah, lots of interesting stuff happened, and I guess it will be interesting to see how that will turn out. And now we have this video on the phone, which could be very interesting, because it was obviously a cliffhanger, so could be good stuff, right? But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to the episode. Okay, what are we gonna see? Maybe some shadow? I guess this is a real one? She knew! Oh, she had contact with the ghost? Shadow? Why do I say ghost? <laughs> Make that's <laughs> Yeah, why? So that's why she changed the password, right? So that only Ushio can unlock it. Sh Shiori? She's glitching! <laughs> Okay, so that is very interesting, right? Real Ushio had contact with the fake Ushio, and the fake Ushio was good, but we don't know why. I'm really wondering why is this fake Ushio good and not evil? It was all planned that she would make contact with Shinpei so that she so that he could see the content on the phone, the video, right? And that's why, that's why the password was changed, so that only Ushio can unlock it with the fingerprint. <sighs> Entry says that the fake Ushio is an ally, so... But still, why is this shadow good and not bad? What's the difference? I hope we get an answer for that, right? <laughs> Why this shadow is different from the other shadows. <clears throat> because there was not a single other shadow that was nice. So far. <clears throat> a chart. So it started started with her seeing her double. There we go. And 
and there's big Ushio. <clears throat> Wait, it didn't disappear. There we go. I wanted to say it didn't disappear. Mm -hmm. Do this happened all so quickly then? Maybe. I mean, we don't know. God damn. God damn. Lucky guy. <laughs> the fake one? Yep. <laughs> Don't move or I'll make you wet. To talk. So this shadow was always weird. So this doesn't give us any information where this shadow is different. Who is the real one? I guess this one is the real one. Mm-hmm, but shadows are fine. What the fuck? A crow? Oh... What the fuck? Mm -hmm. From his mouth. But yeah, you can't make a copy of her because there's already a copy. 
Y wow. ¿Eh? <clears throat> Maybe it's not a perfect copy if there's already a copy. What the fuck? Hey, hey, no jutsu. Oh. God damn, dude. What the fuck? I have to rewatch that part. <laughs> And another one. Oh, she'd make just another copy to heal. Okay, that's why they kill their originals, so that they don't disappear anymore. No. <clears throat> But how did she lose her memories? Oh. Nani. So water didn't dissolve her? Oh, or maybe it's because it's not real. You can't. He just has to watch it happen again.
What the fuck? This is the real one. But okay, that means water should be fine for the copies. Because we know that the little Shiori got copied in the water when, when she was drowning. So that means the copy was in the water. And she didn't dissolve. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what is going on? It's just them seeing that here. And there's a shadow. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, no jutsu. So if they knew, how could they swap places? Oh yeah, she killed her and just pretended, yeah, yeah. And the fake Ushio... Couldn't show up. That's the real one. Do the OST. Is this how she got her memory loss?
So she survived. And didn't got killed, and that's why she's still around. And then she swapped places. Well, she knows. So she knows about the summer fest. But how? What? What? Oh, that's a mother. What the fuck is going on, bro? <clears throat> she marked him? Bro, what the fuck, bro? Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. It's just crazy, man. I'm 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 confused. <laughs> so, I mean, we still don't know why the fake Ushio is not like the other shadows, right? It was just different from the beginning and we still don't know why. She pretty much thought she was uh, she would be the real one until she realized, "Hey, I'm not." Right, and then she, I guess she lost her memories when the Shirio, Shiori, uh, shadow almost killed her under the under the water. <clears throat> and what what's also crazy is that she could transform into a necklace, so shadows are not limited to people, but they can also turn into necklaces and objects. It seems like maybe. And then, I mean, we also heard earlier in like one of the last episodes that once a shadow, oh no, we heard that once a shadow is dead, a copy is dead, then there can't be another copy. But maybe there can be multiple copies of the same person as long as the first shadow is maybe not dead. Or maybe, because we saw it clearly that the was another Shirio, right? Uh, Ushio, right? Um, but it wasn't the perfect copy. So maybe if there is already an existing copy, the new copy can't be perfect. It's like half copy, half shadow or some shit. Or maybe there was another copy because the current Ushio copy we have, the fake one that is good, is maybe not necessarily a real copy maybe it's some weird its own thing and so that it doesn't really count as a copy there are so many possibilities <laughs> why there was a third copy of or a second copy of ushio oh my god and yeah the whole thing 
how it turned out with Ushio with the time when she died, dude, it's like completely different from what we thought it would be, right? We only thought like, oh yeah, she got killed or she died and then, oh, it seems like there's something happened to her because she got strangled, right? Or, or some shit. And then it turned out, oh, there's a shadow that did it and that swapped places with the fake one. Uh, that swapped places with the real Shiori, right? And now it turns out that there was a second Ushio. <laughs> Dude, it just gets, it just keeps twisting and twisting and twisting, and now it's just basically basically a memory we see, but the mother is coming in and marks Shinpei, so that could mean also like many things. Maybe <clears throat> with the mark, she knows what Shinpei is doing. Maybe maybe she can track him or something, and or maybe she can like. Not only track him, but maybe also attack him. Or maybe what if she could control him to some degree. And I mean, that Mark will maybe even stay after he dies. And then she can maybe track him through time travel. Even and keep checking on him. Dude, oh, this is getting crazy. How did she even do that, right? It was just a memory. And she just came, maybe maybe because of the, it's a memory of a shadow, of a copy, and it's based, maybe then she can go into that memory and invade that memory, maybe? Oh my god, bro. The, the big thing right now is like, how much... Does the mark now impact Shinpei? What can the mother do with the mark? Can she control him? Can she like track him? Basically, does she know what he will do? Maybe can she read his mind? I guess she won't be able to read his mind. I think that would be too much, right? <laughs> then he couldn't do anything anymore. Um, and I, like I said, I, I guess it will, even when he dies, I guess it will just stay on him, right? Because she said he can never get away or whatever. Dude, this is getting crazy. <laughs> and we're not even halfway through the season, that through the anime, dude. Just thinking about it, like, what else could happen in the future, in the next episodes? I mean, it just keeps getting more crazy and more crazy and more crazy. And, I mean, we barely know anything at this point, right? We still don't know, like, what is the big goal of the Shadows? What do they want to do? Why are they doing this? I mean, we know what they're doing, right? They just copy the, the people and eventually want to kill everyone on the island, but why? To awaken the mother, but why? What is the plan of the mother and all that stuff, dude? It's like, oh boy. It's... Uh, it's crazy. So yeah, I guess we have to wait and see how the whole Mark thing turns out on him now, right? So yeah. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.